Hello everyone, myself Dr. Kruti Dotia. I am a physiotherapist with a Masters in Rehabilitation and Community Health. Today we will be talking about an important screening test which is used to assess the risk of falls in the elderly population. As we all know that falls are the leading cause of death in elderly men and women and we need to manage and prevent the falls. For that, we need to assess that who are at a larger risk of falls. And we have many screening tests, many assessments. And one of them is the timed up and go test, the tug test. It is a gold standard to assess the functional performance, balance, gait and risk of falls in the geriatric population. For the tug test, we will be needing a chair with an armrest, a measuring tape, a stopwatch, and a cone or any object. The test will start with the participant seated on the chair. The therapist will mark a line of with a distance of 3 meter from that chair and will place a cone or any object at the distance of 3 meter. The patient will have to follow the command of the therapist. At the command of go, the patient will have to get up from the chair, walk towards the object navigate the obstacle and come back walking and then sit on the chair. When he or she sits on the chair, the time will stop. That time has to be noted by the therapist and which will help us in evaluation. The patient is allowed to wear footwear. The patient is also allowed to use any assistive devices if he or she is using it previously. But the patient is asked not to run or jog during the test. Regarding the time, Anyone taking above than 12 seconds to complete the test is at a higher risk of falls compared to anybody who takes less than 12 seconds. The time difference is variable with various conditions like for stroke patients it is 14 seconds or more, for lower limb amputees it is 19 seconds or more but the gold standard is 12 seconds. So this was all about the time up and go test. I hope I was clear in making you understand about the screening test and I request everyone to perform it on your patients physically so that you can evaluate that who are at a higher risk of falls and can take preventive measures for the same. Thank you.